to it. We're live. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll play it when we go on. We're live. What do you mean? Oh, we are live. I was listening to it. Yeah. Oh, here's the... <laughs> what is that? There's some music for uh, Rock Fest. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, Reed and Reed is sponsoring 98 Rock Fest for the second year in a row. It's next it's this Friday, starting at 5 o'clock. We will have a tent out front around 2. Come and say hello and get your swag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hello, Dio. That's funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. It's, it's never going to stop. Reed. There you, there you go. go. Paul Reed, your host, with Jason Crawford, my Ed McMahon. Um, howdy, howdy. Like I said, we've got Rock Fest actually tonight, uh, starting, uh, hell, we'll be out there in about an hour, hour and a half uh, with the tent and, and so forth, you know, mm -hmm. giving out some stuff. If you're going to the Rock Fest, give us a holler. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Other than that, a couple of things we're going to, uh, Jason and I want to get to. Uh, I had a trial this week uh, in Polk County, and it was who's. Whose million dollar lottery ticket was it? You know, it's really oh, a wow. nightmare. This thing started in 2017. Oh, and, wow. uh, uh, this is the second trial and so forth and so on. We'll see what happens. But either way, uh, what I noticed and what I saw and what I recognized is as you're heading uh, eastbound at seven o'clock in the morning, 730, I forget exactly when the sun came up because yep. I had to be there at eight. So it was a long, a long week. Um, so the sun's popping up, really dangerous. And, and you know, yeah. you look left, look right when you're changing lanes, and you you know you look at the people. And and, and what I noticed were was that people did not have their visor uh, mm -hmm. down correctly. And you, yes, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to use this. So the visor sits up, yeah. you know, like in here, and yep. you grab it and you pull it down. And so because the sun's a bitch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, so uh, a safety tip, uh, and because I, we've had this case and the defendants used an affirmative defense in saying that because, and, and what happened was, so the, instead of, let's say straight down or you're towards the windshield, that's yeah. the way your visor should be. Okay. No, no greater than straight down or okay. towards the windshield. What I saw in, in the case that we had, and again, all day, um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays, people would have it adjusted like this, kind of towards yeah. the roof. Well, okay. Jason, what can happen if you have your uh, advisor adjusted towards the roof and not towards the windshield, and you have a front end collision? Oh. I tell you, you, your body will go forward and you could lose your nose, or in the case we had, huge gash in your forehead. So wow. never, ever, ever have your visor pointed towards yeah. you. Always yeah. at best straight down or towards the windshield. Dude, that's the last thing you want to be at a bar and somebody go, hey, where'd you get that scar across your forehead? Oh, your your story is, hey, oh, what I got my visor down. Yeah. What <laughs> happened to your nose and your lips? Try that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. It, when you go to your car next time, feel it. There's metal yeah. in oh, there. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. So it's, I can it's tell a you. Hard, hard oh. cardboard or whatever it is reinforced. Uh, it ain't cardboard. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got All those right. So, so that's stuff. tip number one. And it's, you know, again, you never think of certain things. I yeah. mean, how can you think of everything to keep safe? But that yeah. one's a simple one. Just, you know, uh, just have it straight down at best for and sure. towards the windshield, and you may save yourself from a, some form of scalping or decapitation. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. We just got back from a long road trip, and something that people like to do when they're on road trips is, is especially if they're in the passenger vehicle, not on the driver's side, obviously, but in their passenger vehicle, they put their legs, their feet up on the dash, and they chill and read times, or something. Even sometimes hanging out the window. Oh, yeah. I've seen those too. <laughs> so my wife's friend is her husband's a firefighter and he was telling her these horror stories about people who do that and he has to pull their mangled bodies out of the vehicles their legs are like jello by that point with the airbag deploys uh, it'll, it'll break their back it'll bend their legs like over their head like it's just oh, they I, are they are done 
done. Yeah, and, yeah good point. And, and having been the uh, recipient of an airbag explosion in the car, I could see that. Yeah. Because you know, we had a case where the girl's holding on to the steering wheel and and at, right as she's fixing that somebody cut in front of her t-bone and she kind of did like this dude airband snapped her arm Boom. i yeah. can't imagine if you got your feet up on the dash and that airbag comes out oh lord have mercy Bro, it'll break yeah, you, that, it'll break you dude, in half it a, literally will that's that's that safety tip's bigger than the mirror. <laughs> yeah, they had, to like, they had to peel her out of the... Can what's you left imagine? Of her, like, out of the okay, yeah. so that's safety tip number two. Yeah. Now, here's safety tip number three. I, uh, <laughs> I now drive on 275 more than I've ever wanted to in my entire life coming from <laughs> Fletcher to Malfunction Junction. If you guys don't yeah. know, Malfunction Junction is that area where you can go to St. Pete on 275, or you can go to I-4 or Ocala, that whole area there, because it's a cluster, we call it, it malfunction junction. Yeah. So anyway, I'm on 275. Of course, people are flying in and out left and right, and you see a lot of side-on-side -side impacts. A lot of people, Jason, do not know how to adjust their side mirrors. And yeah. okay, and let's give, let's, let's give uh, yeah. NASCAR uh, racing an example. The guys in NASCAR are doing 200, 220 miles an hour, inches apart, moving left and right, up and down. Their head is strapped in so they can't look left and right. What are mm -hmm. they relying on? The those mirrors. two mirrors. And so those <laughs> side mirrors and the rear view mirror have to be adjusted such that they just look at it and know whether someone's in their blind spot. Okay, mm -hmm. that's, that's what the side mirrors are for. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen, the side mirrors are not a second and third rear view mirror. If you can see no. the, the back of your car or actually any part of your car, uh, but I, I don't want to say pickup trucks, they're huge, but your basic automobile yeah. and even SUV, if you True. can see the back of your car from your side view mirror, they're not adjusted properly. So what you want to do is you want to get in your car, adjust your seat, adjust mm -hmm. your rear view mirror, look in the left mirror, turn it out until you lose the back of your car. That's, Same thing that's with right the passenger side. Sit in your car, look to the side view mirror, turn it out until you can't see the back of your car. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how you start. Then when you're driving and you get to a red light, right? You're at a red light, you're stopped. Vehicles on both sides. Yep. Check. Look in your rear view mirror yep. and look at that car coming up on your right side. Mm -hmm. And you, when you are about to lose that car in your rear view mirror, you should see it in your side mirror. Mm -hmm. So if you can't adjust your mirror out then a little, you've got farther, a blind spot. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what you do first off, yep. you get in your car tonight, tomorrow, the next day, adjust your mirrors and stop as soon as you can't see the back of your car. Mm -hmm. Then when you're at a red light and someone's coming up on your left, look in your rear view. And when you're basically about to lose that mm -hmm. person, well, you can keep glancing to your side view to see when you see them. But sure. when you lose that person, you better see them on your rear view mirror. That will help you avoid so many potential so many uh, crashes. You know what, too, the thing that, that it dawns on me at listening to you to talk about these is that it small stuff in a moment, you know, like, oh, taking the taking the time when you get into like grandma's vehicle or something, just taking the time to check the mirrors takes 15 seconds, maybe, you know, but like it can be life changing. You're, oh, like, yeah. oh, you're going to go, oh, I wish I had a ch I wish I had to check the mirrors. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, and, and it's too late when your butthole puckers up and the car is spinning. <laughs> you know well, what I mean? Like, yeah. It's too late. It's yeah, too late. Lee, when I drive Leanne's Jeep or even our truck out there, you know, if Ryan drives it, he has the mirror set in, at one location. Yeah. And yeah. when Leanne's driving her Jeep, they're set at one location. And every time I get in Leanne's Jeep, because she's smaller, so she sits closer and so forth, yep. I back the seat up. I can see the whole side of her car. So the first yep. thing I have to do is, you know, move those mirrors yeah. way out yep. uh, in order to see those blind spots. Because here, a lot of crashes and rear enders happen because you're on 75 or, or I-4 or 275, 
and you're doing 60, 50, 70, 80 miles an hour, whatever, and you do this. Okay. You look to the right, all the way over here to see if someone's in your blind spot, boom! Oh. Somebody stops in front of you. Or swerve. You There's have, always that guy swerving in traffic. You know, I'm not dude. talking about swerving. I'm just talking about when you look, when you look anywhere but but in front of you, you're not <laughs> looking at what's in front of you. Yeah, and exactly. So if, if you have your mirrors adjusted, you can look in front of you. You're, you're paying attention to cars coming up and you're looking at that mm -hmm. rear view mirror. You can see everything without having to do this. When you do this, mm -hmm. where's the road? I'm doing 70 miles an hour, Jason. Yeah. And there's the road. Yeah. And Not only that, like in motorcycle driving school, they always teach you wherever your head looks, that's where you're going to steer. So they always teach you if you want to turn right, look right, and the bike will veer with you. Gotcha. Like people veer when they when they do that in their well, uh, exactly their and, and, and that's why you have side view mirrors so let's let's mm -hmm. uh let's before right, we wrap it up today uh right. your visor make sure it's at best down or towards the windshield yep do not put your seat up on the dash because you your may feet, yeah. boop and yep. your side mirrors like, when you get in your car tonight right. tomorrow the next day adjust yep. them right to the point where you cannot see the back of your car and then as you're driving down the road, look in your rear view and see when you lose that person coming up on, on either side and whether or not you can see them in your side view mirror. Yep. And uh, I forgot this, you can see them in your side view mirror, make sure that you're still looking at them in your side view mirror until you see them in your periphery. So that's yeah. why you may have to adjust the mirrors farther because mm -hmm. you have to see them from the rear view mirror the side mirror until your peripherals. So, yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah, so that's how you adjust your mirrors. All right. Perfect. Uh, again, have 98 fun. Rock is tonight. It's uh, yep. sponsored by Read and Read. We have a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, it's a beautiful day. It looks like it's going to be a nice weekend. A shout out to my buddy John Simpson and his wife who flew in from Texas to have a little fun with us at the soiree at 98 rock nice uh Very other fun. than that anything else you have to, for us mr crawford not that i can think of I, i'll tell you this the book is coming along quite well it is <laughs> by the way it jason's is. uh beautiful wife uh, crystal is my co-author she's actually mm -hmm. the author i just sit here and talk and tell her the little stories <laughs> <laughs> they're and all so, your stories uh, though. moving yeah. right along yeah. i'm excited about that um unfortunately with the uh, you know, Crystal's got a life and I've got a pseudo life. So sometimes the last couple of weeks we haven't been able to connect, but we yeah. will get it done. And then uh, we'll uh, bring everybody up to speed on that one. Anything else? Uh, that's it for now, man. All right. Well, then yeah. why don't you take us out? Let me see. Oh, it's like having a lawyer on. in the family. Yeah, we're going to go out on a little video on 98 Rock. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs>